Residents of a West Toledo neighborhood haven't been delivered their mail in months. They say the post office told them it's because of a vicious dog in the area. Here's Christy Gurlett. I called channel 11. <laughs> yeah. I was, I, I'm desperate. I mean, I just want to get my mail so I can take care of my business. 88 year old well, Anne Colleen Krebser has lived on Almeda Drive for over 50 years. She is now unable to drive and deals with several medical issues. She says her mail hasn't been delivered to her home for over two months. I, w I wasn't getting my mail and it was five days and then finally I had somebody go down there to check it out and then that's when I found out the do about the dog bite. The Toledo Police Department says there is no report about a dog bite in that area recently, but other neighbors told us the post office said delivery service was stopped due to a report of a vicious dog. It's a real inconvenience. Like I said, me and my boyfriend don't get off work till 5. Sometimes I don't get out of school till 4.30, quarter to 5. Don't make it to the post office. So we don't get our mail, you know, two, three days to a week at a time until we can actually get a chance to get it instead of it being brought to our house. For Ann Colleen, this change makes it hard for her to pick up important mail. Last week, I needed something for my insurance, and they uh, stated, we haven't heard from you. Did you, you receive our, our mail system? And I said, I can't get to my the mail because they are holding the mail. For WTOL 11, I'm Christy Gerlett. WTOL 11 did reach out to the Postal Service about this specific case, but we have not heard back. However, the USPS does have a policy. A mail carrier can refuse to deliver if they feel threatened by a dog.